not a big hot dog sausage. fan. I prefer like a sausage, to be honest. Same. Although I do have a bratwurst, not gonna lie. Some, some bratwurst slap. That does sound good. Mm. A good brat is I good. I want bratwurst. I want bratwurst. Bratwurst with table. like. Um. Honestly, was he looking at it? To seal or remove their charges. The authority the, bank accounts? No, the first time, whatever. DNA legislation, what changed? Yeah, I hope they remove my fucking DNA from my profile. Where's the Marshall thing? I, I, I just want to know about the Marshall thing. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. I don't even know how to use this fucking thing. What's that? Sorry. I don't even know how to use this fucking thing. You, you've never used this? Not really. I mean, I've read some things once in a while, but like, that's a whole lot of shit to read. One day I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to learn all the new legislation. Because on the day that I'm arrested, I will fucking chew somebody apart. Or I'll be a quote-unquote legal aid if I'm still able to. And <laughs> You'd be a lawyer. I would, I would never want to. I hate court. But I would absolutely love to go and fight people in the fucking cells. I'm sorry. This is called lost? the Angel Act. Get the fuck out of here. Where? <laughs> the San Andreas State Marshals and Correctional Officers. <gasps> Angel X. Wow. Be more narcissistic. Uh, the DOJ shall have a law enforcement agency responsible for overseeing other law enforcement officers, preserving the integrity and safety of the state of constitution citizens, right? This grants the Department of Justice, authority to create San Andreas State Marshals, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, Marshall, a sworn LEO uh, in San Andreas State, uh, a response for prosecuting, investigating, and providing independent oversight of law enforcement agencies. Blah, 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 blah. Marshals must have experience as either a law enforcement, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the responsibilities of this agency, prosecuting, providing independent oversight of all law enforcement agencies, whether currently established or to be established in the future. This will uh, include any preventative measures necessary to pre uh, preserve the integrity of the institutions. Yeah, that's bold, considering Conan Clarkson works for you. Uh, protection of appointed officials and elected public officials, investigating, prosecuting government and corruption, blah, blah, blah. Um, investigating, prosecuting organized crime and criminal organizations. Fuck you. Uh, protecting the interests of the state of San Andreas, maintaining general order. Protection of government entities from any threat, foreign and or domestic. Mm. I don't like the way that's written mm -mm. because the way that this is written states that if a government entity is at risk, the marshals have authority to give them what they need to protect themselves. Maintaining the general order of the state of San Andreas in the population during periods of severe unrest. The fuck does that mean? They can create martial law? Periods of severe unrest would essentially be martial law, yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell? Protecting the constitution of the state of San Andreas against terrorists, enemies of the state of the San Andreas, treasonous, and any other threats to the fundamental order of state. Uh, the San Andreas state marsh uh, marshals shall have jurisdiction over the entire state of San Andreas, but are not considered to be the state authority body instead it is under the state the san andreas department of justice's authority so essentially the justice department is over the marshals and over the pd is what i'm hearing okay so the doj is over the marshals by the way that this is written yeah um okay so someone does have oversight over the mar okay I'll call this person back. The, the, the San Andreas State Marshals may claim supremacy over all LEO jurisdictional 
conflicts that may arise as they are an authority over the entire island of the state of San Andreas. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You will ne <laughs> Hello, Flop to Gong. Hey, uh, quick question. I don't think you can right now because of the time, but do you have the parts to do a two across? I do actually, yeah, and I, I am able to do repairs. I am actually clocked in. I think I should be able to oh. do it right now. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm still clocked um, in. Do you want to meet me down at Mosley's? Or, or yes. sorry, at, uh, at, at Milton's? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no problem. How much uh, How much is a two across these days? Two across is 4K. 4K? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll be there uh, shortly. Cool. I'll see you soon. Sweet. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye. I'm going to go take a photo of that real quick, actually. Where'd she go? Dude, I am... Remind me about the keys, I'm sorry. Don't forget to put your keys in your... Oh, I mean, I give me keys, yeah. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. So Angel, regardless of what Angel said, that's true what she said at the fucking meeting then. What'd she say? If you don't volunteer to help the marshals, you'll be voluntold. You're voluntold. Yeah. That's so, yeah, fucking that's, 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 crazy. She has legislative, she has legislative backing. To she literally that. has authority over the PD to make that call. Fuck. But the DOJ has the authority over her. But so who's in charge of the DOJ? I mean, at some point, there's only so many, like, lines you can take, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. That, that did not sit well with me. Holy shit. Yeah. Somebody find the clip when I said that Flop would leave if the government got too close. I said it. What's up, Simon? Hello. You still need your car fixed? It's not it's all good I, i'm i'm here for a separate repair two across on uh on replacement okay uh for you it's 1700 for one across so you need two across that's uh 3400 Are you grabbing the engine? What's up? She's asking if you're grabbing the engine. Oh, does she need the engine replacement too? Yeah. You need to replace the engine too, right? I gotta go buy the engine and I can't right now. Shit. Uh, she... Fuck. Uh... She can't buy the engine right now because it's nighttime, but... Tell her to come back in the morning. And uh, in the morning. Th th this this way we can we can just do it all, and I don't overcharge. That her. way we can do it all. Um, if you want, you can borrow my car. I like a. Hello. Hey, uh, do you have parts for a three across? I'm with Hazel, like Hazel Luna Hazel, uh -huh. and she needs a she needs a she needs a one across for her bike. He... Someone just asked if. Yes, we we. She needs three across. Yeah, uh, no, so I need two across and then she just needs a one across. So three total. Yes. If you if you come now, yes, we okay. we can squeeze you. Okay, we are on our way. Okay, cool. I will uh, see you soon. See you soon. Right, bye bye. My bye -bye. Is in the back of it. I just uh I just put two across uh in my car set aside for 
uh, Jesse. But I have to go buy the engine. It's for, so for her, it would be thirty four hundred for the repair, and then it would be uh, fourteen thousand on top. Uh, so in total, that's what. Let me do this. So I'm doing this out loud for me, to be honest. But yeah, because you lost me at one seventeen thousand four hundred is what it would be for her. Money is what you owe him. He'll tell you <laughs> seventeen thousand or something like that. So the engine replacement's fourteen. Oh shit! You're right here. And then 3400 for the parts. So in total, you're looking at 17400 Jesus Christ. That's with the discount. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. It's gonna be close. Hello, Flaptagong. What's going on, sir? What's up? How can I help you? I need a repair badly. How? She's not doing too well. She's not doing too well. Okay. Uh so I'm gonna see what we could do. I am running a little low on parts and I have two other customers that I've called. Can I call you back as soon as they get here? And I'm gonna add up the parts as as, as long as I can get you in, I will. Do you know how bad it is? It's bad, man. It's very bad. Is it bad? Okay. Let me. She's uh, not. Uh, she's probably like two across. Two across. Okay. Uh, let me see what I have, and let me call you right back as soon as I'm good, and uh, I'll let you know if we have just enough. I appreciate you so much. Thank not, you so much. Not a problem, brother. I got you. Bye bye. All right. Take care, bro. Why is it now that everyone's calling me? He sensed it. All good. How okay? How much is the engine? Is it was the seventeen k like the total with the repair? Yes, or yeah. It, it's just... it's uh seventeen thousand four hundred when you include the total repair, because it, it, yeah. it's it's fourteen for the engine, and then it's uh it's. On top. Yeah, thirty four hundred for yeah the on, the on top comes out to seventeen four. Math, see, I told you math. I'm really not that great with math. I know just enough to get by. Okay, so fourteen. So fourteen, yeah. Yeah, you you you, you just need fourteen. Looking like another big money day? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. We're not going to have any parts for shift three. Holy fuck. That guy just sent it. The problem is that I need to buy the engine. Yeah. So, um, I just need, um, I need to wait till morning to buy it from Mosley. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I I'm not out here trying to pressure anything. It'll happen with time. Curious to show per for you. What's up? I'm curious to show per for you. What do you what does that even mean? Hello. 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 Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, what's up? I'm with a customer right hey. now. 
Uh, okay, well, wrap up and come pick me. Now? I That's have crazy. three more people that are here right now. As soon as I'm done, I will, I will, yeah, I will. All right, well, I'm running over. Uh, okay. Don't take any more after that. Okay, yep, I'll, I'll take my head down. Okay. Bye, bye. Uh, give me just a minute. I'm just wrapping this one up real quick, and then uh, I will I will be with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because it, it, this is just easier for me. This is just comfortable. This is what I know. I've always done it this way, even in 3.0. Because it's set up in my pockets in rows that it shows in the shop and it just, in my head, makes more sense. Uh, Jessie's going to be good. She just needs the engine replacement in the morning. Is she grabbing the money right now for that? Or does she just want to wait? I recommend she just waits. Jesse? So that. Jesse after? Hey, oh. Jesse Adler? Maybe. Jesse? It... Thank you. Uh, let me go put this away real quick. Uh, I'll buy it in the morning when Mosey lets me buy the engine. And I'll. If you don't mind, I'll have either Tally call you or I'll call you. And I'll do it in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Everything else is set. Let me, let me go put this away and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. All right, remind me again. You guys, you need two across, and your bike needs yeah. one across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see. so it'll be four thousand for yours, and it'll be two thousand for the bike. Perfect. I got everything right here for you. Perfect. Let me uh, let me go grab the parts, and I'll be right back with you guys. Cool. Sounds good. Hi. Hi. Holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna miss a night event. Fuck. 3900. Okay. Oops. Uh, is this gonna fit in the wallet? Probably not. The wallet's probably only 5k. Yeah, probably. Alright. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this one at a time. Flop is making such good money being legal, it's insane. <laughs> All right. Let's bang this out real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab the parts one at a time as we go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. You are definitely needing this. It's bad. It's oh, really, yeah. it's really fucking oh, yeah. bad. Was it sputtering I... on you? <clears throat> Wait, there's what? Was it sputtering on you while you were driving? I, I almost blew up. It was smoking. Up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're yeah, fucking taking time bomb. You, I know. The, it was... Truth be told, it sucks because so many people are driving their cars like this right now. And everybody's calling me asking why we don't have parts. But truth be told, nobody has parts right now, especially with the going yeah. rate that everyone needs parts for shit. It's yeah. so hard to yeah. keep up with demand. Especially when you have people advertising that they're buying for $30 a fucking part, which is yeah. bullshit. Uh, I, I I truly doubt that people are actually doing that. Thirty apart is that yeah that's kind of crazy. I highly doubt that that's the case, considering that the, the the typical go rate is anywhere between six and eight. That's what I was thinking, right? It's usually yeah. yeah I've usually seen people like paying at most eight. Hmm. It's pretty fucking crazy right now. I don't know why uh, people to see the need, but. Whenever people ask me why parts are so rough, I remind people that 
they're buying at such an exorbitant price. The problem yeah. is that if we were to buy at 30 a fucking part during heightened times right now with everything going on, your repair would be like 10 grand. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. I would just get a bicycle at that point, I think. That's what I'm saying. Or run everywhere. I don't know. Supply and demand is a very dangerous thing when it comes to people just trying to get from point A to point B. Yeah. Yeah. So... No, it's the biggest bottleneck in our city, and it always has been and always will be, is parts. Parts. We do what we can when we can, and I try and be as, as efficient as possible with it, but it's so fucking difficult right now with the going rate of everything. Yeah. Well, I, fish, I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Absolutely. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm here for a reason. Which I have a question for you, because I know you used to be a Shift 3 cop. Are you yeah. Not, 25th not was my last day I quit. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. Did you ever arrest me? Did I ever arrest you, Luna? I don't. I don't so. remember. I had a plenty of reasons to arrest you, but I don't think I ever actually arrested you. Hold on. What do you mean, plenty of reasons? Every time you I'm... pulled up to me, you were on a police bike. What are you fucking smoking? What do you mean? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> to be fair, every I pulled up to so many police people in that bike, and no one decided to pull me over. Well, they just did it go? They're like, oh, it's just Hazel. Truth be, well, I mean, truth be told, every time you pulled up to me, it was very difficult because I had to like, I had to kind of bite my tongue because I would get on duty and there would only be like four cops on duty. And I'm like, if Hazel takes off, we're not keeping up with this bike. You're going to go through two alleyways <laughs> and you're fucking gone. Yeah, I would have lost you guys anyway. So mm -hmm. I could do that again, actually. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, yeah, good. All I'm going to say is right now I'm not legally obligated to not. <laughs> I'm not legally obligated to not London style your ass now. Okay. The fuck? <laughs> I mean, come on. What? I uh, we've always had you know a good relationship, man. We have, we have. Outside that one time that I made a left, wasn't looking, and I fucking cooked your shit the other day. You mean damn? Today? Was that yesterday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was probably yesterday. It happens. It happens to the best. Yeah, he What's uh? Me out. Oh shit. I I uh. I kind of did that, but I did that to a cop earlier and took them out of a out of a chase. Oh, did you? But they were they were cool about it. It was, Who was just it? kind of a. It was. Fuck! Why am I forgetting? Um. Oh, it was Frost. Okay, Fr Frost. Like is Selena Frost. Yeah. Selena's been pretty chill usually. She's about cool. Stuff. Yeah, she, yeah. I, like she. Yeah. She's. Every cool time I've seen things. her, she's just megaphone and has just said slow down. She's never actually pulled me over. Yeah. No, she's been really cool. Yeah, your car's good. I'm gonna go grab the parts for your bike real quick. Cool, thank you. All right. It's it's fine. She's chill. <laughs> she's, she's cool. It was just, it's fun. It's just like people yeah. do stuff. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I've never actually repaired a bike. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Just had to see where what? this was going. It's been so long since I never did bikes. Years ago. A bike. That's crazy. Years ago. I used to. I mean, I, to be fair, I just got hired yesterday. Cut me some slack. So that's what you're gonna be doing now? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, hey, listen, I'm doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but you know. What's up? You gonna join ADMC or what? I don't know. Isn't your husband in it? I mean, my husband's in ADMC. Don't mean I'm joining, though. Hmm. Hey, you lied to me. I'm not lying. You can go ask either of the people behind you. I've never once claimed that I, I was joining. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. Hmm. You lied to me about his name. Oh, Ziggy? Yeah, I told you sticky. his name. No, you said Sticky Buns. I said you said Sticky Buns, and I went sure. And you said, yeah. It's not my fault you called Ziggy Sticky exactly. Buns. You know how I found out who how? his real hey, name DJ. was on Twitter. Uh, yeah. And Loki wanna kidnap you one. What's up? Nothing. You Loki wanna kidnap me? No, I said I was. Oh. Back what, when what, where the fuck is your clutch? There we go. Up your ass. Apparently. <laughs> All 
I was gonna say, if you kidnap me, I'm like the only motherfucker that's working late hours. No, I said was. Was, was, was. I'll take yeah. a was. Yeah, because we were we were at war with ADMC at one point. Mm. And I found out that you were married to him. Oh, is I was like, what? I was like, okay. Shocker. Yeah, I didn't know. I'm just trying to find your transmission here real quick. These bikes are a little finicky to work with. There we go. Oh, man. Bro, Flop literally... I almost permit Flop last time he was kidnapped. I'd like to remind everybody. You know what's funny? In all my time in the PD, never used an IFAC on anybody. I just RP'd that I was putting IFACs on and shit. Oh my god. Yeah. I got a couple more parts here, Hazel, and then you'll be good. <laughs> I actually think I like this new hair. I feel like it's growing on me right now. Jesus Christ. The problem with the bikes is that it's the same as a car, but the, the radius of using the part is so minuscule. It's like if you're a millimeter to the right, it, it, it just doesn't work. Holy shit, Jenny. Oh yeah, if I've got kidnapped, Tally would fucking skin somebody alive for us. It's so hard. We have to like look through our eyes and shit to repair these things. It's such a pain. Hazel, so after this, you're going to be good to go. You're both all set. Okie dokie. Anonymous, thank you for the... <laughs> give this up to Dingy. Or Dingy. All right. You're both all set. Let me uh, just hop on the bike. Make sure your lights are off real quick. Yeah, you're good. Yep, not a problem. You both take care. All right, be safe. Be good. Yep, you too. Thank you. Yep. What's up, Kelly? All right. People, people will, will hit level two shortly. Okay, good shit. Um, in terms of yeah. the placement of that thing, put on the fucking one on top of the buildings. Fuck okay. it. Just, I'll you, talk to. Uh, well, uh, okay. If you ask, <laughs> ask Roger if you can move it after you put it down. Uh, let me if ask they know. if he's awake. Yeah. Or yeah. Just do awake. that. But, but then, if you can move it, put it somewhere fucking stupid. Like just put yeah. it on a roof or something. Okay. That's good. All right. All right. Catch it. All right. Stop. Now you're good. I'll see you. I'll be back, Tally. <clears throat> it's 25 minutes before storm. I don't think you're gonna be back. Oh really? Uh, you cool if we just stop at a bank real quick so I can deposit some cash? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right. I feel like we don't ever cross paths anymore. I don't know if it's just timing or whatever, but two ships in the night. 
I don't know. I mean, you had a chance to talk to me yesterday and you know, Oh, I was around like 10 hours, man. I was in you, know, you, you called me you know off. Do, do, you know do you know how long I've been around today? Yeah. 12 hours. A uh, good one. 17. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Eighty K baby. All right, let's see what let's see how this goes. This is probably gonna go uh probably in more of a threatening way, but we'll see. I'm gonna ask you, do you do you need food or water before we Nope. Okay. Just need to go. Yeah, turn Thank God. No, you're good, you're good. What's that? Where are we going? I just go anywhere. I don't care where we go. Yeah, gotcha. That's what? Wanna go to the cafeteria in the hospital? <laughs> good. No, uh, we'll go, uh, I don't, I, I know. We had a chat with, um, we had a chat with Dominic. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody's what? definitely emotionally invested in this. He I is? To admit, yeah, I gotta admit that they were, uh, they were friends. Him and Chastity? Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it depends the type of emotional attachment. If it's uh, Chastity used to be a receptionist and I knew her and we were friends, that's one thing. But if she's, if he's claiming that like they the, were best buddies, like that's a the problem. The emotional, the emotional attachment was enough to hear uh, quivers and, and cracks in his voice, um, and he sounded not just upset, but he sounded angry when I told him uh, that she spent her last minutes begging for her life uh, in front of her friends that put her there. Huh. Mm hmm So someone's a tad invested. Yeah, Dominic's a little upset, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. And he showed all of that in front of the marshals. Good. Talking to you. Hey. So it sounds like my recommendation, if you really want to fuck his day up, God's honest, right now, PD's biggest fear is himself. It's literally why i left i just went to go read the marshall legislation and i was baffled because if i had read that marshall legislation i would have been gone well fucking before i uh, my two weeks notice the way that shit's written Brittany angel I, I forget if i said this to you i said this to somebody i missed my fucking turn oh wait no no i didn't i'm an idiot I, I, I wanted to go to the observatory <laughs> I'm so Guess dumb. This way and yeah, then yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, but the way that the marshal so I, I spoke with Riker and Maeve. Riker got fired, Maeve uh Maeve quit behind him, and their consensus was they didn't like the marshals. And when I was talking with them, they said, Well, you know that you're not allowed to say no anymore. I said, What are you talking about? And Riker said and Maeve confirmed that Brittany Angel apparently went to one of the meetings and told everyone in the meeting room that if you were to volunteer for to help the marshals and if you don't you will be voluntold last time that happened <laughs> Axel Justice walked into a meeting room and said you're all going to war and I was like uh, no the yeah. fuck we're not what is that what is what sorry what the fuck I'm afraid to touch this. Anything in it? I'm gonna find out. Be ready to fucking run. <laughs> Can you imagine if there's something in this? Fuck, I do not have the right car for this. <laughs> we have no gas. I'm opening it. I mean, it's... There's no way there's anything in it, right? Surely not, right? There's no fucking way to ending it. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of that, that might ping him. I don't know. It's already open. I'm assuming it's already past the sensor, but we'll go somewhere else. Probably. Um. 
Okay, here, look, as, uh... Holy shit, what the fuck did this card just as do? As whatever the Marshals are capable of doing, um... Yeah. I will say Maeve and, uh, Riker. Um, they're very much on my, uh, shit list because they were, uh... One of the main parts of... Uh... Barry's case being put on the docket instead of, uh... It being a warrant. They waited all of 29 days and 20 something hours to not put a warrant out and just put it on the docket. Yeah. And police in bad faith. So. Yep. Um, bad faith those two's... breathes fucking oxygen and acid in that place. It's disgusting. Yeah. Those two, uh, they have their <laughs> ticket punched. Uh, yeah. If they trust you, we'll have a conversation about that. I don't know but, if it's um, that they trust me. It's, I mean, to be honest, I'll be straight up with you. When I joined the investigative division, they. Um, they both did my interview for CIB. CIB has been dissolved okay. since then. Sorry, it's been suspended. But Maven Riker, who led it with Slack, Slack has been in, in the ICU. Maven Riker are gone, and I'm gone. And they suspended the division in my two weeks that I was leaving. So uh, that's a cute way and political way of saying it's dissolved. But anyway, um, back to your point. Rhodes is overly invested, obviously. Yeah. Go uh, over to the right and go behind this house. Okay. Uh, yeah, look, he's going to be easy enough to deal with. Yeah, he's... Um, he, he, I'm, I'm going to tell you, he has nothing on the case. So you're... you're... Go left. We'll go go, to, like, go down to the river. Okay. You yeah, know, he, he has nothing. He, he has nothing. Um, and it looks like he's pursuing it for his own personal um, thing. So he... Is definitely something to. He uh, he's definitely someone who can be pushed over the edge. Wait, he's gonna back up. So. I'll call that back. I'm just gonna let that ring. I clearly have a mustache. <laughs> Right. Put your phone on silent. Yeah, it's it's on silent. It's uh someone said I look like Rami without my mustache. Do you want a cigarette? Kind of. I can kind of see it. Yeah, I hate it. Uh no, I'm alright. <clears throat> if you wanna um... fuck him though, you said it in front of the marshals. Uh and I'm not talking croc, I'm talking a lawyer. If you want to really ruin Dominic's day, I uh, I would lawyer up and explain to them and express that Dominic appeared to have very strong emotions to the case. And you have but, concern. But, but, yeah, what's I'll, up? I'll be honest with you. Um, I know, what's going, I, I know yeah. what's going to break him. I know what's going to break him. Oh, yeah. Um, when he finds out, uh, in five days or whatever the statute of limitations I think it's up, like a week. When he finds out that they've had the gun that did it, or was there, the entire time, and due to shit place work, uh, nothing came of it. Are they in possession of it right now? They're in possession of it. They have the gun? They have one of the guns, yeah. Was it the one that you handed me? Yeah. When was it they caught? Uh, a few days ago. Somebody get busted for it or was it left somewhere? Uh I mean I got caught with it. I got caught with it when I took Espido's hostage. But uh Double Jeopardy, though. They can't charge you now. I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, Maybe. Who knows? But they don't know. For now, they don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going to break him. You say nothing um, about that gun. Oh, I know. Just but also... I've been, also, been doing this long enough. They can't 
I don't think they can charge you for the murder regardless. Cassidy's autopsy stated she her throat was slit. Uh, they could charge me with accomplice. Can they? Probably, yeah. You put me on scene, you, uh, you match your gun to me putting a bullet in the other guy's head. Makes me complicit with all of it. Enough to push a warrant. Yeah. Whether it was held up in court or not. Can I ask um, a, a question? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a really weird question, but I promise you there's a reason. Okay. Are your eyes open right now? Uh, yes, they are. Can you plug your ears? I hear cat. I hear cat. Oh my god, I can't fuck it. Oh, oh, fucking. There you go. Damn cigarette. Got it. All right. <laughs> Thank God this gun has not jammed. This is the second time. You and Ziggy have. I, my, the cigarette almost fucked me. I'm, I'm never smoking again out in the fucking hills. <laughs> Should we get out of here? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. I have a silencer. It's fine. All right. Uh, you want to stay on top of the truck real quick? Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, hang on. Let me. I'm gonna plug my ears real quick. Cat. You good? Uh, yes, I think so. So yeah, um, the case is going to die. Rhodes is too attached. And if you really want to get the marshals breathing down his neck even more than they probably are, you could always try and take it to a lawyer and press the marshals that he's too close to the case. Because if it keeps switches, if it keeps switching hands, the most that they can get out of you is a subpoena. Because they have Nana's name, they have Finley's name, and they have your name. Uh, which, by the way, congrats on your promotion from Sage's statement to leader of the ADMC. <laughs> <laughs> 
so um yeah they uh when i tell you dead end case the only evidence they have is a is a print from that wrench found in, in the river from slacks but that print isn't more than to just state that someone was there but you can't place them on scene with anyone's victim statement yeah no i know so just me, i know i can't believe the gun hasn't fucking jammed on you i i saw uh not you irish but i saw irish with one and i asked him how it does he's like it's kind of weird in a pinch it'll work sometimes but it jams but well um okay so the uh, i mean the, the main reason i wanted to talk to you was not because of that um yeah, what's up? don't don't have a huge amount of time yeah yeah what's up um so i spoke to ziggy um and you were in a slightly different situation um are you aware of what dark did yesterday with uh with uh with Faye maggie. and maggie yeah yeah um flop i'm going to be completely honest with you um he put himself there and there's nothing i can do to stop him for that i know where this is going I know that there's problems and I know that I, I see the road that this is going down. There, I use an analogy with people that when a kid touches a hot pan, they learn their lesson. That analogy works for people who are looking at something new, trying something new, right? You, you learn the hard way. In Richard's situation, he is well aware to the risks that he's into being a marshal and my whole problem with my family right now is that I told them that I'm doing things that makes me happy I never mentioned names I never mentioned who I'm hanging out I none of that nothing the only thing I did recently was tell my father that I'm an adrenaline junkie and I enjoy uh street racing I did before I was a cop I did before I was an EMS and he told me that I would end up with a bullet in the back of my head if I went down this road and he broke my trust. I was honest with him. He broke my trust. And I told all I wanted out of my father, Sean, was that he respected. He didn't have to respect or accept what I did. He just had to understand that I'm happy for it. And the reason I haven't spoken with him since that day, going on about a week at this point, is because I, I expect the same from him. I expect and understand that he's doing something that while I don't agree with it, he assumes the risk. I'm not happy about it. And I didn't mean to cut you off, but I know you guys are going to do what you have to do if this continues. Right. So here, here's what's going to happen. Uh, because thankfully I don't have to explain that to you. Um, I explained this to Ziggy. Uh, and I'll give you my word to you. Yeah. No, I don't have to. Um... Even though, uh, considering, um, well, everything you said, uh, this guy has been in law enforcement for years. He knows full well what he's doing. He has been dealing with, uh, members of his family being in the club and then you making your decision. Um, I asked Ziggy straight up, if you put yourself in my shoes, would you bother giving this guy a warning? Uh, I'm not going to ask you the same question. I feel like I already know what it would be. Um, okay. However, um, I'm not going to say for your sake because I don't have to do it for your sake. I'm doing it for... I don't have any attachment to you guys. You're, you're going to... I'm doing it for Ziggy. I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've said this for Ziggy. And I've said, um, I'll say it to Rue. Um, I'm not going to use this as a warning. But he needs to understand... very quickly and that's not going to happen if i you know have a little chat with him or you know slap him on the wrist and say you shouldn't do this or you know something bad's going to happen um i'm going to make him believe that he is going to die 
I need you and Ziggy to be prepared for that. He will not die. He may get hurt. But I'm going to make him believe that he only has seconds left. And then I'm going to walk away from him. And if he chooses to do anything after that fact, all hands on deck. Yeah. It may seem like I don't have a lot of emotional attachment to what you said, but I'd be lying if I didn't say I've mentally prepared for this. I. Uh, because I knew, I knew this could happen. And... Didn't take very long. Yeah. This didn't, this happened quicker than I thought it was going to. And I think that's the shocker of it all. I even told Ziggy, I said, he's on strike one. If Because if, I, I immediately assumed that this was targeted. I mean, I heard the type of questions he was asking, Maggie, that... I don't even know what he asked. Um, I can't remember the details, exactly the questions, but it was essentially prey on her, make her emotional, and then ask her, ask her the yeah. question that he actually wanted to ask and get yeah. answers to. Manipulation. Um, asking, doing that to someone who's clearly in duress and who's been uh, literally alcohol dependent for two to three weeks. Mm. You're a fucking scumbag. Yeah. Regardless of if it's your job. He is in a more precarious situation and he's put himself in it. There's no, there, there's no sympathy. Yeah, I can't. I don't have sympathy either. I listen, John. I love my father. I will always love my father. But I can't I, I can't tell him to stop doing something that he obviously know is going to have backfire. He he I, cannot be that dumb. He I I told Ziggy this. Ziggy said he wanted to be there when this happened, uh, and I was honest with Ziggy, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. If you, Ziggy, well, you can, won't be there anyway. But it's just mm. if you, Ziggy, or Rue are there with no mask or anything like that, um. He won't believe he's about to die. He won't believe it. It'll be that the thing in the back of his head where, like, oh, well, you know, Ziggy's here. They're not going to do that to me. There's no way. And then it won't happen. And he'll be feel vindicated, and he won't learn. Mm. I've told Ziggy he can be fully masked up and not recognizable. But I'd rather if he wasn't there. So. Dark has every opportunity to. Feel like what's going to happen is going to happen. If things don't change. Um. I'm not trying to give a positive outlook to this, but the reality is that if he's conflicted out of the case, he'd, he'd have to pass it on. It won't stop the investigation. It may stop him, though, and I think you know that. Mm hmm But... Tr truth be told, if he's off the case, uh, probably for the better. If the assumptions are correct. For his sake, yeah. John, honestly, I, I I appreciate you being honest with me. I'm I'm not. Um, God's honest. I'm not happy about the things I've heard. I'm not happy with my father right now. I still love him, but I can't stop you, and I sure as shit cannot stop him. And if he wants to go down that road, there is only so much I have the power to do, and. At this point in the road, this fork, it is impossible for me to turn back at this point. There is no, there is no turn back. You've already made up your mind. 
he's already made up his uh, planned assumption, uh, and it it goes from there. So. Mm -hmm. You know when this is gonna happen? Never get a chance. Okay. You know what you're gonna do to him yet? Yeah, I know. Alright. I'll tell you afterwards. I'm sure I'll find out in the emergency uh, contact report. Told you, he's not gonna get hurt. Okay. He might get a little bit hurt, but he's not going to... He's not gonna end up in the ICU. He's not gonna end up... He shouldn't end up in hospital. Hmm. He's just gonna get a message. Okay. I do appreciate the honesty. Better to have you guys prepared than uh, blindsided. So, I know. Definitely been a bumpy road with the family. Uh, truth be told, I've been happier since I left. So, I've noticed. It's a long way to go, though. I don't have a future. I have uh, plans to learn how to be a civilian. I gotta crawl before I walk. Some oh, fuck you've been doing boosts and racing. What are you, who are you I'm lying racing. to? I'm racing. I'm racing. That's all I'm doing. Right. I did one yeah. boost and Hydra fucking you're done. You're done. zero. Zero. You can ask Root. She's begged me. She's begged me so many times to do roof running, and I'm like, I, no, not yet. I did my first run of moonshine yesterday. Mm. I grabbed the bags up at the drop off. Boosting spot. with Hydra. I didn't. I, okay, I was supposed to just be in, in the assisting car with Kelly, and we all got in the same fucking car, and Susie tried fucking me over. <laughs> Is it storm yet? <laughs> oh man. Oh no, man. What's up, Hank? How you doing, brother? That was spicy. Because Flop knows that it's coming. This is a fucked up spot for Flop to be in. There's nothing he can do about this. I think we all saw it coming. Well, truth be told, there's not much that's been said about that sentence because uh, I said it before, Flop's not hiding it from anybody. It's just that that was a personal thing that was said to Flop. That was not a personal thing that was said. That wasn't like a generalization to anybody. That was like directed at Flop. And Flop feels like if it's personal to him, he doesn't need to tell people. Only thing Flop can do is choose to back the people he cares about the most. It doesn't even go down that road, though, is the problem. It's not about backing the people that he cares about the most. It comes down to the fact that Richard knows what he's doing. And there's only so much that Flop, as a person, is able to do to stop the inevitable. Richard knows the risk of being a marshal. Richard knows how people feel about the marshals. Richard knows where it's at. The problem with Flop is that he, he has to look at this from both sides. No one has ever tried to save Flop from doing something. Yes, exactly. The TJ comment to Flop was not aimed at the, at the club. The comment made to Maggie was aimed at the club. <laughs> 